Are just, we talking about the Rolling Stones? Yeah. Because, again, if you want to listen to more detail, go listen to our Beatles vs. Rolling Stones. Yeah. Our Beatles vs. Rolling Stones. Discussion. Discussion. We're not like... We're not like totally just saying, yeah, these guys, they are important. We just, we got so much to say about them, but yet just, it just so little, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing the Cliff Notes version of all these groups tonight. Because we do have some other things we want to get to. Um, yeah. Yeah, but the Rolling Stones, they are sort of like the anti Beatles, once you think about it. The, I, I, I feel like they're the bad boys of rock and roll completely. But you want to know something? They said there was always a rivalry between between the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. There which really not, wasn't. Which is not true at all, yeah. Because their their first top ten hit was I Want to Be Your Man, which was written by... John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Yeah, and remember Paul McCartney said, all that thing that we hated each other, that was all fake news. Exactly. It was all fake news. Like... I think it was. I think it was some healthy competition, right? I mean, it, it's easier to say like the, the the groups hate each other, but really, Paul McCartney and Mick Jagger and Keith Richard are friends. Like Paul's yep. friends with Mick, Mick and Keith, so and Paul and Keith talk about music a lot too. Whenever they hang out, yeah, they're good friends. Um, yeah, but um, the Rolling Stones were like are like the. They are the bad boys of rock and roll. Okay, I do mean, you think it's easier to give me your favorite Rolling Stone songs? Ben Beatle songs. It might be easier to give me my give you my favorite Rolling Stone song, yeah. Let's hear it. All right, my my top three. And no, but the, these songs are my favorite top 25 of all time. So whenever I go to the Rolling Stones, I go to these three songs. I go to I Can't Get No Satisfaction. Has to be in the conversation. Of one of the best songs of all time. Satisfaction. Does any of us get any satisfaction? Well, some of us do. Yes, I know what that song is about, people. Yes, exactly. It's uh, about sex. <laughs> hey, we got to be honest with our with our lovely viewers. It's true. Um, all right. I Can't Get No Satisfaction. In the, conversation, <laughs> in the conversation of best songs of all time. No, hands down. Uh Wild horses, truthfully. I love wild horses. I don't know what it is. I just I love wild horses so much that one couldn't song, drag you away. Nope, they could not drag me away. It was so good. And believe it or not, you can't always get what you want. You know what? Because that's a message we all need in life. Just like the Rolling Stones once said, you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you get what you need. You know what? I think that that song was like the official anthem of 2020. Or or life <laughs> in general. You can't. Always get what you want. Exactly. It's true. It's a great, great song. And the, I love the chorus and the end the bet towards the end of the song where like it's like the opera. It's so good. It was the Beatles reaction to Hey Jude. Yeah, literally. It was their response to Hey Jude. I've never heard of it like that, but that's actually I didn't know that. That's actually pretty cool. Because Hey Jude came out like around the same time. Yeah, because they both came out in 69. Yeah, that's right. So, but yeah. 68, I think. What's that? 68. When, when, when did Let It Bleed come out? I'm trying to think. Yeah, but... um. Whatever, but yeah. Okay, my favorites... By the Gimme Stone. I love, I love Gimme Shelter. Great one. Sympathy for the Devil is pretty cool. Oh, so good. So um, good. You, I gotta put satisfaction on there. Of course, that is like a mortal sin to not put that on the list. Of course, and my number one, Ruby Tuesday. Oh, great one! Ruby Tuesday is just a great song in general. Goodbye, Ruby Tuesday. Who had name on you? But um, still I'm gonna miss you. you. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah. Our, look for our cover album coming this fall. It'll be a lovely gift for your friends this holiday season. No, that that is like the worst gift ever. Don't give it to them. Um, we're gonna do the Rolling Stones cover cover band too. Yeah, we're starting a Rolling Stones cover band. 
We're going to call it. You can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, I'm just kidding. I don't know. We're not going to do that. <laughs> that could be fun. It would be fun. You know who we should get involved in this? Dr. Matt Hemsley. Dr. Matt Hemsley. You know why? Because why? he always needs to be involved in our weird sca- schemes. <laughs> exactly. Because he's our friend. <laughs> exactly. Um, um, but the Rolling Stones, one of the best bands of all time. What, talk about longevity. Talk about, like, for, you know. You know, and this brings up a question that I want to ask you. What's up? And you know what? And this was a question that I discussed with our good friend, Allie, um, about the Beach Boys. And this could probably carry over to the Rolling Stones. Do you think maybe the Stones just didn't know when to quit? I'm not saying no. Like, I think, like, when, with the Beatles, when they ended it, they just said, thank you, hope we pass the audition. Right. I think the Rolling Stones, you, you talk about longevity. I think the Rolling Stones are definitely up there as, like, one of the all-time greats because they've lasted so long. You know what I mean? Yeah. If that makes sense. Like, they're, they're in that conversation with some of the best artists of all time. Best musicians, best this or that. one hundred percent agree. I'm not going to debate you on that. It's, it's true because because of, because of they've been doing it since 1962. This is their 60th year doing this. So, yeah. So, 60 years as a band. But you know what? Because that could make a stronger argument versus the Beatles than say the Beatles versus the Beach Boys. Um, yeah, because. The Stones have mainly stayed together. Like maybe they had a few people leave here and there, but the Stones have had a couple of members leave on their own terms. But that's another conversation for another time. But you know, like with the Beach Boys, you had the whole things that were going on with Brian Wilson and all, and Mike Love, yeah. and they had their issues. Um, yeah. Like the Stone. Like the Stones, like I think you can make the argument that they that I don't think you can say they didn't know when to quit because they're still selling out stadiums and arenas everywhere they go. They're still selling out arenas, so they're more popular than ever. So they're not. Yeah, but you know what? It's like, what's better? Like, keep on going or just take what success you got and know when to hold up, know when to fold up. Exactly. So, yeah, that's why I always say with the Beatles versus Stones with what did it better? 